Hi guys, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play adventure. I'm Zerfall, and today we're going to be playing Shadowbrain. This is a game that came out in 1991, March of 1991, and was made by Poly uh, Pony Canyon and uh, Skytron and Art Incorporated. Uh, it says copyright 1990, even though the game was released in 1991. Um, it was very recently translated by, I believe this is pronounced... I Shisha, and as well as Stardust Crusaders. The credits go to I Shisha, and if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm so sorry. But uh, they did the translation and the hacking. Pennywise helped with the translation with the hacking, and Ryushu, Ryushui, and Harmony Seven both helped with the translation as well. And this seems like a pretty fun little dungeon crawly game. We're gonna go to start, because if we go to continue, I don't have any saved games, and it will result in the game crashing. It will actually try to load a game that's at level negative one, which is interesting. If you watched the video previous to this one, uh, part zero, you know the story. We're, uh, let's talk to this robot. We're the kid June, and this is the robot helper that um, we woke up in front of. We may rest here, and you automatically have to do so. Did you sleep well? Have a nice day. Pretty uh, manly voice for a female robot. But if we enter move mode here, we can leave this building. We'll see down at the end here, there's a hotel. And a town information thing. Harmony Town, as its name implies, is a beautiful, harmonious place in the far north of Lemuria. So we're in Lemuria. It is the model to which all towns aspire to. Which is interesting because there are already bad guys in this town. As we'll witness right here. What's up with this guy? Wounded man is in front. Interesting. A view. Oops. A bunch of punks have been beating people up around town lately. You can't let your guard down. So, what we need to do is there's a few things we need to get around town. We can't use any of our programs yet. We have map check, but the system cartridge is not available. We need to get ourselves a system cartridge. Um, so we're going to have to be careful about this. Each of these buildings actually will have somebody in it that just gives you a bit of information. Not everyone does. Some some are people that say, what the crap are you doing in my house? I'm going to beat you up. But this person, I've heard that you can buy a system cartridge from someone around here. Dot, dot, dot. Could it really be true? And it is really true. We need to get our asses over there. Unfortunately, right now it's pretty easy to beat up on us. Um, I'm trying to think of the best way to get there. Could be this way. Oh, shoot. We might be able to get around that guy. What's in here? Oh, just an old man. Uh, Dr. Rudger was a kind-hearted man. All right. Good to know people here knew our father. Oh, do you know what? I think we might... Oh, shoot. Might have gone a little too far in this direction. The other day I was blindsided by a monster that said, Tell me where Dr. Rudger is. I ran like hell. Well, speaking of running like hell... Oh, shoot. See, m new monsters can spawn. So we are trapped now. Which one better to fight? Probably this bat. Sonic is in the way. So we don't have any weapons or anything yet. And I'm assuming we can get a scanner in the future because... Um... To the right, it should be what their hit points are. We did six hit points of damage. Oh, we attacked again. Double attack. Uh, we got attacked here. Five hit points. Not bad. Uh-oh, they dodged. Okay, they made up for the fact that we hit them last round. Sixteen! Jesus. All right. If we don't manage to spend money before we die, we are going to restart the game because it's kind of random. Um... How and when the monsters show up at this first beginning spot. There's an information booth. We can't use that yet. That, I think, leads to... Yes, if I'm correct, this should be... Armor! Okay, we made it. We made it to the, the buying stuff spot. Okay. So. Whoops. Get back in there. We need to use our card to buy stuff. Luckily, we were given 500 credits to start the game. So. We're going to go ahead and buy Metal Jacket. It is very agreeable. Um, we are going to go ahead and buy an elbow guard. 
very agreeable again. This is going to let us get a lot more um, survivable, we should say. Agility went up by 10. Battle boots. Oh, I don't want to buy more. No, it's not agreeable. If you want a window sh shop, please do it elsewhere. Ah, passive scope. I suppose. What's that do? Defense up by five? Sure, why not? Maybe they'll tell us about their power level one day. Alright, so we gotta get out of here. To the side, items. Oh, I think the weapons are on the other side of that guy. But I know what's in here! Let's talk to this guy. So, you're looking for a card system, eh? You've come to the right place, then. But it's gonna cost you 100 MCs. Is that okay with you? I guess. Don't lose it now. <laughs> we got our system cartridge. We're actually running through this game pretty quick. Actually, we're not. The game's going to take much longer. Um, yeah, that is the weapons place. Darn. Okay, so we're going to have to fight our way. Actually, no, we're not. We can go here. Oh, no, that's not the way we need to go. Oh, it's up one more. Oh, no, the Sonic's in the way there. Okay, so this way leads to... The pharmacy this way leads to... What, what items are there here? Alright, what would you like to buy? What's this? Battery? No. I don't actually know what all of these items do. I probably should have got the FAQ open to remind me here. Grenade? Okay, so they're probably used in combat. Yeah, if we want to win a shop, please do it elsewhere. Mecha Crusher. Okay, yeah, these are all uh, combat items. Whoops. Well. Alright, so we're going to have to try to fight our way through this. Sonic, it's in the way. Alright, I lost six hit points. How are we going to do in this attack? Ah, oh, we only took two damage. Alright, so this should be a lot better. We should be much less uh, worried about this first town now, although that was a crushing blow. We managed to defeat him in time. We got 10 extra MC. Alright, weapons. Let's go ahead and buy some stuff here. Alright, straight up. I'm gonna buy the ceramic sword. Most expensive weapon we can get so far, but it should really up our ante in fights. And I accidentally talked to him again about it. Now. I don't have enough to get uh, all the weapons here, but we're going to grab the brass knuckles too, just in case. I'm pretty sure that the way this game works is different enemies are weak against different things. Alright, and I know we need to talk to this guy too, but we're not going to talk to him yet, because we shouldn't know we need to talk to him yet. Well, I mean, really, realistically, exploring is just a good thing in this game. Ah, uh, this we've already talked to this man. All right. Um, I think we're better off going against the burglar. And we avoided it. Okay. Attack him with a sword. Oh, he still got his attack off. Special. Your card has been hacked. Oh man, he stole our money. But we've won, and we got ten back, so we made a profit of one on this. There isn't the ability to run, but we... Oh, speaking of running. We need to get back to where we came from. Alright, we could... Well, we should talk to this guy. What the? Am I seeing things, or did a girl just appear on my VDS? Oh, so you saw the digital Venus as well? So that girl that appeared to us apparently has appeared to all the people in this town as well. Shoot, Sonic's in the way. Alright, there's... Oh, uh, there's not more than one way around this time. Ouch! Alright, we're gonna have to go through the civilian, who, for some reason, is a cyber cowboy. Oh, I wonder if we can... Not available here. Yeah, that's a combat item. Alright, well, hopefully we kill him fast enough. Uh, only two damage. We, we can still pull this off. Nice. Hmm, we win and get 15 MC. And we've leveled up, which is a good thing. And now this punk kid's in the way. 
What's in here? Ah, oh, a couple of people here. We saw a girl who looked just like that digital Venus at Dr. Rector's place. Could she have been the original Venus? Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Can we talk to this guy? Oh, they won't listen. We might find out pretty early on what happens when you die. Now that we've spent all the money, though, I'm not going to care about it too, too much. But he missed. So we may still get out of this with still a zero loss. Alright, this way. Oh man, we're surrounded here. That's okay, because we want to go this way. Oh no, we're surrounded again! I really should have used the map a little more. 13 damage, come on. Oh! Nice, nice. Okay, we're not doing so we're not doing so bad here. Realistically, I think. Let's uh, look at the map here. Yeah, I gotta go north. And that way is blocked in more ways than one. Yeah, okay, we gotta fight through this guy. Come on, miss, miss, miss. Uh, as long as you kill him with this hit. Uh, we're gonna die. Oh, no, we're not! Alright, this isn't so bad after all. Uh, no, there's a bit in the way! Jeez. Alright, alright. They're not as strong. Died on the first hit. And there's actually a place where we're gonna cheese out the leveling up system. Okay, if this is the wounded guy, I don't think we can get in a fight. On the way back to home. Yes! Alright, let's talk. We've made it. We've got all our hit points back, and we get to have a nice day. Alright, let's, uh, back out of here. So there's a couple places we can check out. If we look at the, uh, this way, there's a guy in here. He looks suspiciously like the guy that always wants to beat up on us. If you're looking for Dr. Rutger, he wins somewhere. Through the pipeline. Alright, so let's, uh... Oh, there's a bit in the way. Okay, these guys are apparently not so bad. No, but he missed. Okay, yeah, two damage isn't so bad. Oh, but they must have ten life. Luckily, we got a double hit off there. Yeah, they're pretty weak and they don't pay very well, but... Here's the pipeline. A pipeline outlet. Yes, I realize that. Okay, let's use our card to pay. I'm sorry, but no one can use the pipeline right now. Let's fight him! You can't fight the assistant. What were you thinking? Alright, and actually, let's check out our status here. I forgot you do this. So here's our status. We're actually wearing armor now. When you start this game, you're just a little red outline. But now we've got a uh, sweet, sweet armor with a passive scope. We need an active scope that might tell us more about the enemy. A metal jacket, noble guard, and battle boots. Um, and you can see that we've got over 100 credits again now. We're, it shows a little experience chart, so we're actually halfway to level 2 already. Um, these are the places we have ID codes for. You can see we only have an ID code to get to the next town. It's the little blue thing. Uh, the red ones are ones we don't have ID codes for yet. And you can see that it's sort of a snaky path we're going to have to take to get to the final couple areas. Um, and we only have map data for this current town, so when we try to use our map program in the next town, we won't be able to use it. And in our system, so far we just have a battery, but not a solar battery, and a network for over the phone, but not actually connecting to the network. Like, we're missing the network card itself. So our system is pretty sucky, actually, and we're going to have to figure out ways to upgrade it. Um, I don't think it's about it now. Yeah, see the network network card not available, so we need to get a network card. Let's just check out the map here. I know where I want to go. Yeah, this is the right direction. There's nothing at the end of this place. I think maybe a network node is there, but we can't use network nodes yet. What's this guy have to say? So you want to go to nearby towns, eh? 
Well, you'll need a special ID codes to gain access to them. That's right, I said A and then used the plural. And you know what, normally when oh, normally when there's a guy there, you can't sneak around him because they'll put a second one beside him, but this time we got away with it. Oh, a little girl. There was this handsome fellow clad in black at Rutgers place, but I haven't seen him around lately. Hmm, interesting. So we're piecing together little bits and pieces of the story here. A uh, sailor girl here. I've heard Dr. Rutger had us a lab somewhere out of town. I wish I could see it. So apparently our dad was pretty popular with all the people in this town. Um, to the north there, you can see that little red dot. That is actually a network node. So we don't want to go that way. We want to go this way. Oh, burglar's in the way. I wonder if eventually you can make them listen. Perhaps if you're high enough level, the uh, low-level enemies will just back off. These boots, uh, you know what, I didn't get these boots in my little test play that I did a little bit of testing in. So we use our card, it opens it up. Then we have to go back into move mode. We're in the next town. Uh, my little bit of testing, I didn't have the boots and I never got double attacks out, so I think they really help. We have no area map. Okay, so, what's this guy got to say? It's like a futuristic Stephen Hawking. I haven't seen a VDS like yours before. There's a hacker looking for one like yours! Thanks for letting us know, we'll keep an eye out for him. Alright, what's up over here? Ah, this is an item zone. Let's uh, take. Stun grenade was inside. Alright, that's just a network node. I think this is where we need to get. And here's where we learn about maps. Each town has a map that you can acquire. Here, you can have a map of the town you're in now. Oh, map acquired. Has the map we gave you come in handy yet? No, it hasn't. We haven't left your house. But now we can view a whole map of this town, and we can see that this area is a bit of a dead end. So we'll have to head up into the next area. I'm not going to... Um, whoops. Jeez. No, not going to go that way. Yeah, we can handle the slum kid right now. Whoops. Uh, where these videos aren't going to be too long, I think I'm going to keep them a little bit short as long as something happens in them. They might get longer as time goes on as we have to backtrack more and this and that and the other thing just to get through the game. But for now, they're going to be pretty quick videos. Man, there was apparently two guys right in the way. The civilian's going to learn a harsh lesson about uh, sneaking up on someone when they're fighting a slum kid. Although, who knows, maybe he saw us beating up on a slum kid, and he's... What are you doing beating up on a kid? However, we've reached level two. Alright. Oh, man, this place is just... We're in the slums. So much for Hopetown. We're not doing too bad. We're going to see some... Uh, new types of places. I wish the map kind of showed where everything was. Whoops. It's still locked. Is this sushi? Yes. Okay, so here's a sushi place. You uh, use your card here, and you ran... Well, you can move back and forth, I suppose. But depending on what you eat, you get different uh, bonuses. So it's cheaper than going to the hotel for a meal, but you never know what you're going to get. See, that's... Cost an MC? Is it agreeable? Yes. I guess we could always say no and back out, and it'll go away, but... We got all our hit points back. Um, you can also get your energy back by drinking sake there. Oh, empty room. Actually, we should probably... Yeah, empty room, okay. Just making sure it wasn't some sort of trick trap room here. Alright, we may proceed. Oh, a little girl right away. Welcome to Hope Town! Thanks. Uh... Oh, Jesus, Shaolin is in the way. It's like, uh, she looks very much like Chung Li. Whoa! Nine damage, jeez. So these guys are someone that's a little bit uh, tougher right off the bat here in this town. Okay, we avoided the second attack. Yeah, they're much faster than us. I think we'll survive one of these. Oh no, we're never avoiding pretty good here. Well, they're getting multiple attacks off pretty frequently. 
I don't know if there's a uh, new weapon store in the second town. I don't think so. We got 30 MC out of that, though. The punishment for losing a fight actually isn't too bad. Well, I guess it's kind of bad. You lose, you end up, since we didn't die all in uh, the secret of what happens, you lose. Okay, it looks pretty badass. Let's try not fighting him yet. Oh, jeez, he moved! Oh, he was always there. Okay, well, I guess we gotta fight him to get through this way. Oh, jeez, 22 damage. So they're weak against swords. I think we need to get ourselves a gun as well, because I think different types of monsters take damage from different types of uh, weapons, more or less, like weaknesses and whatnot. I wonder if the monsters in the network are somehow related to the people looking for Dr. Rutger. So apparently once we get in the network, there's monsters in there too. Right, let's try punching this kid instead. Eight points of damage, okay. All right, let's try slicing him. Now he's shooting a gun. I wonder if it's a rock, paper, scissors sort of thing. All right, he dodged. Oh, it's a good thing he missed because that seemed like a special attack. So that did about the same amount of damage. Once we get a gun, we'll have to see. How is there a rat here right away? Jeez, twin rat. Okay, slice him. Now he dodged. Or maybe, I mean, if you look at the top, it says how many attack points they do, right? So, oh, he attacked twice. So I guess he is a twin rat. So this only does 27. We, that's zero because it's got nothing. I don't know that it uh, affects speed at all. Although it seems we managed to hit twice with the punch on this guy. So maybe it does. Oh, we've been poisoned! We never had a chance to buy any po anti-poison uh, items. Jeez, this isn't uh, turning out so good. All right, it seems our punches are hitting more often than our sword did. All right, we won. But we've got problems here, okay. Well, jeez, I'm just trying to get somewhere, buddy. Let's look at our map. Yeah, this is the way we gotta go. Yeah, so this guy has, takes damage pretty high, but he uh, also seems to be getting the best of us with his attack. It seems like we might be taking damage while doing this, but... All right, here's where I wanted to get to. Check this guy out. He's one of the first guys you see a sweet uh, drawing of if you watch the music section of the intro video. Hey, mister! Why do you wear that gloomy face on? Face on. Apply directly to face. So, he is actually the guy we need to talk to to get to the next town. Indirectly get to the next town. So, if we want to get to there, we have to figure out how to get him to talk to us the right way here. For now, let's head into this and talk to this burglar. How dare you enter my home uninvited? I didn't realize he was actually a burglar. Luckily, we can kill him in one hit. Actually, this is my room. It gets lost, but it doesn't kick you out. Uh, actually, I'm going to show this off real quick before we call it a video. This is how you would scam up hit points really easy, or uh, not hit points, uh, really cheap MC and experience points. You could just sit here and with a turbo button, man, you're just going to be flying through. Look at this. And even though we're poisoned, we're not losing our last hit point because we can kill this guy in one hit. So if you really want to, oh shoot, we did die. Okay, so we're out of strength. <laughs> Normally, this works pretty good. There's a guy in the first town that looks like one of the werewolf men. Uh, and you can do it to him pretty easily, and it's probably a way that we're going to level up a little bit and get some of this money back we're about to lose. So now that we're finally awake, we're going to call it a video. I'm Zerfall, thanks for watching, and next time, we're going to wait back up and get right back at her. Thanks for watching!